Hey everyone, I'm Maggie. Our family of five recently sold our one acre suburban farmstead, bought an RV, renovated it, and moved on to wide open spaces. We run a regenerative agriculture farm where we grow and raise our own food and share with the community. I get a lot of questions about living in just over 200 square feet. So the purpose of this video today is to show you three things that are our favorite RV renovations that we've done here. And we're gonna start right here in the kitchen. So as you may know, living in an RV, we don't have a dishwasher and we have to hand wash all of our dishes. And in such a tight kitchen space, that can get tricky. There's five of us. I cook all meals from home. We go out maybe one or two times a week and that is to run a bunch of errands way into town because we live in the middle of nowhere. So the RV came with the standard plastic beige kitchen sink. Now everything in this RV was beige on beige on beige. And so as you can see, we did a ton of painting. If you look in our previous videos, you'll see that we painted almost the entire RV itself. We still have a few more spaces that we're renovating. Now, all of that aside, one of my top three things about renovating our RV that is my favorite is not the paint. Granted, it really spruces up the space. So hand washing dishes multiple times a day, every day, it wasn't gonna happen in a teeny tiny little sink. So we decided to upgrade. So in order to get a bigger and deeper sink, we had to cut into the countertop and we actually had to cut underneath into the cabinet below. The cabinet below has a shelf under it and so we had to cut into the shelf very slightly. We didn't lose very much space at all. Um, really, it was mainly for the bend in the plumbing pipe. So we bought this big stainless steel sink and I actually like it better than the one that I had at our house. We bought a beautiful faucet to go along with it and it does have a hose attachment which makes it very easy when you're washing dishes in such a small space. Now we don't have much countertop space and so we did buy an over the sink dish drying rack. So the kitchen sink makes the top three for our most favorite RV renovation that we've done. So number two in our top three RV renovations that are our most favorite here actually take place here at the kitchen sink, as well as the bathroom sink and the shower, and that is hot water. Now RVs come with a very, very short window of hot water that you will have to take a shower. That wasn't gonna cut it because not only do we need showers for us, for kids, but we also hand wash dishes. And so we bought a continuous flow RV hot water tank. And so this gives us continuous use of hot water. I can't imagine having a three minute shower, which I mean, I have kids, so it really doesn't make a difference, but I can't imagine having a three minute shower, no, only being able to hand wash dishes in small batches. Um, it probably would have negated the entirety of having a larger kitchen sink as well. It, it, it's just been a game changer. It was well worth the money. I'm thinking luxury camping. I would have done it for my camper if we just camped in it, not to mention lived full time in it. So a continuous hot water tank is a must. So I think our RV life differs a little bit from other people in the fact that we are stationary. I wasn't quite sure what I wanted our third and final RV renovation favorite to be, and it was a toss up between getting an extra large propane tank so we didn't have to keep swapping the two small ones out or something different. And I'm gonna go with something different. So as much as this is wonderful, I'll show you what won me over on the other thing. Welcome to my front porch. So this is my third and final RV renovation favorite that I don't think I can live without. So the chintzy little RV steps that come with the camper are great and all, but when you have three kids ages six, four, and almost two years old, it's a recipe for disaster. I think within the 
first few days of even owning this camper, there was somebody that took a tumble down the steps and they were sharp and they're metal and I was done with it. To walk out the door and immediately have to go down two rickety little steps. So this is a game changer, especially since we are stationary. Get to have a front porch, a landing spot for all of our shoes. The fact that we don't have an actual mud room really makes this an essential space, especially when living on a farm, because everybody knows there's lots of mud, there's lots of poop, and there's a lot of different types of footwear that you're constantly switching back and forth between. This is the saving grace behind us not swimming in coats and shoes in the middle of winter. Here it is, our third and final RV renovation that we absolutely love. So thanks for joining me and learning about our top three RV renovations that are our most favorite here. We obviously renovated a whole lot, top to bottom, light fixtures to floors. But by far, these top three things, I don't know if we could live without. Obviously, we could. However, it makes life way better here, living in just over 200 square feet, and it makes life on the farm that much more enjoyable. All of these items that I've mentioned are down in the comments below, so you shopping through our affiliate link helps us out and helps us grow more food and feed more people. 